Hey everybody, Jimmy Eats here. Thanks for tuning into my channel once again. So, what do y'all think of some chicken quesadillas? I was going through the fridge, I found some leftover rotisserie chicken, and I thought, hmm, sounds like a quesadilla idea. So, that's what I'm going to make on my Blackstone. Stick around, I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Alright, so for my lineup, I have some pulled rotisserie chicken that I just got done pulling. It's still cold. A little minced garlic. Some Rotel tomatoes. A green pepper. Obviously some taco seasoning. I like the uh, El, Old El Paso original. Some sour cream. Lots and lots of cheese. Some mushrooms. And yeah, I know I might be weird, but I love Taco Bell's Diablo sauce. I don't know why, I got a lot of this sitting around. I'm going to use some of it in my quesadillas today. Oh, and you can't forget some flour tortillas. So, I'm going to get this going and we're going to make some quesadillas. Alright, so to get started, obviously, I'm going to heat this chicken up. I got this side on about a high heat. I'm going to kick it down a little bit. I don't want to burn nothing. Put a little bit of oil down. I'm going to dump this chicken right on top start heating it up. And while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and prep up my vegetables. My Oh, I forgot to tell you, I have an onion as well. So I'm going to prep up my onion, my peppers, and, and my other vegetables to go with it. Of course, I'm going to start slicing up my pepper. No big pieces. Stir up the chicken, don't let it burn. Kind of pull it apart a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to slice up this onion. Get that diced up, just like I have this pepper, fairly small. And of course, don't forget about the chicken. Stirring it up. Don't burn it. Getting hot, getting hot. All right, I think I'm about ready to add some seasoning to this. And maybe a little bit of water to get her juiced up. I'm gonna kick the heat down to about a low and throw a little bit of water on top. Just for the moisture. And then add some of this taco seasoning in. I just eyeball it, do it to taste. Okay, gonna add up a little bit of minced garlic to that for some flavor. Just a couple little deals like that. Like I said, I don't measure much, I just do it by eye. Mix her up. Of course, you got to try a little bit. Not too shabby. So I'm going to finish with these vegetables and we're going to slam it together. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my peppers and my onions right to the chicken. I'm going to mix it up, let it cook a little bit like that. Make it a little bit more soft. That's how I do things. So mix it up. Let her cook. And don't forget, I'm going to throw some mushrooms on top. Give that a mix. Let them cook up real good. Alright, so now that I got that cooked up pretty good, I'm going to throw some Rotel in with it. It's got a little bit of green chilies and then red tomato, obviously, for Rotel. So I decided to add another ingredient to my quesadilla that I think is really important. And it is some refried beans. Let's heat them babies up a little bit, get them soft, make it worth my while. Alright, so time to start start throwing down some of my flour tortillas. 
We're gonna start building the case AD. Put them all down, down like so. You gotta turn this burner on. Don't wanna forget that. Let them heat up real good, get some crisp going. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slap some refried, refried beans on the bottom. Spread it out a little bit. Do that on both sides. Okay, once you get that on there, what I like to do, I like a lot of cheese, so I'll put a little bit of cheese on here next. It's just uh, Kobe Jack cheese. A little cheese on there. Both sides. And then throw some of your chicken and veggie mix right on top of that. Don't be shy. Make it worth it. Plenty on. And then, of course, some more cheese. Get to the end of this bag, I have another one. Like so. A little bit of sour cream. Sticking to my spoon a little bit, that's all right. It'll spread when I squish the other top on. Like so, bang. Put a lid on top with two more slices of taco shell. Squish them down. Let them get on there good. Now we gotta try to flip this bad boy without losing it all. Not the easiest thing to do, but I think we can handle it. Ready? So, oh, a little bit more oil. Don't want it to burn. One, two, three. Bang. That'll do it. Slide this over a little bit more oil there as well. One, two, three. It works. Let them crisp up and we'll call it a wrap. We'll cool it down. We'll take a bite and I'll show you how it looks. All right, I think I got the heat on these bad boys good enough. I'm gonna pull them off. I'm gonna set them right here. I'll try and get them both on there. All right, they look good. They look real good. Can't wait to let them cool down, take a slice. And we'll take a bite. All right, so I let it cool down a little bit. I think I'm going to attempt to give them a cut. See what they look like. All right, let's have a look at the inside of one of these. Oh yeah. Haha, <laughs> that looks amazing. Can't complain about that. We put it on my plate, and I'll take a bite. All right, I got it all plated up. That looks awesome. Looks really good. Love it. Now, of course, like I said earlier, I love this Diablo sauce. So I'm going to slap a little bit on a piece of this and give it a bite. Oh, yeah. Woo! There's a little heat there, boys. That's what that Diablo is all about. I love it. Go ahead and give that a try at home. See what you think. Well, go ahead, give me some comments. Tell me what you think of this quesadilla. Is it too much? Is it not enough? Not like how you do it? Or is it just right? That's how I like it. So give me some comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, by all means, hit that, that like button. 
so notifications are always good for my channel and by all means if you haven't become a subscriber by now please hit that subscribe button and be part of the crew I think I'm gonna call that my Diablo throw together chicken quesadilla a little bit of this a little bit of that it's not like how everybody else does it but that's how Jimmy Eats does it you know why because I'm Jimmy Eats it's calling my name and I tell you what that's just what I'm gonna do everybody I'm gonna eat thanks